My name is Angelo Connors. Welcome to my home. So I said it was up to my mom and my dad. They've been through everything. Hi. How's it going? So I'm gonna show you where the real get down at. This is the basement. This is where if I'm having anybody over, this is where we really be hanging at. I wouldn't I'll ever be up in my room, to be honest with you. You just chill. You just be laying down back up here watching movies or whatever, for real. You just chill, watch YouTube, watch movies, anything. I usually bring my game down here too, but it ain't down here right now. I'm gonna show you where we really get down. We showing them where the workouts get. Yeah. This out here. This is my really becoming a shooter out here. Get my shots up every day. Every day, this is what I'm getting good at. Show on, show on the shots today. Show on the shots today. Yeah, we usually... Now, so we usually get about 500 to 700 on a school day, and then 700 to 1,000 uh, when I'm not at school. I'm from Michigan, and that's how I met the love of my life. We're both from Michigan, and 20 years later... Uh, mm -hmm. We brought it to Ohio. So I'm from um, Armada, Michigan, which is kind of way for out the beaten path, but somehow we found each other. And that's where Angelo comes from. Angelo uh, has extremely phenomenal work ethics. The kid wakes up, the kid prays, the kid meditates, the kid does yoga. I don't ever, ever once, I've never asked him to work out. Never once I've asked him to eat healthy. I do absolutely nothing. He just follows a protocol because he does what he loves. Yeah, uh, no, no, I, I agree. He's, uh, he's a hard worker and uh, he's come a long way. He first started out, he couldn't even dribble a basketball. Terrible. And now, you know, he's not there, but uh, he's on his way. And then a big shout out to Sean Dale because uh, a lot of it has to do with him. You know, making this uh, dream come true. So, Angelo makes it. He owns Shondell and Lambo for sure. NBA is really, is really, really a long shot for anybody, for any good kid. So, you know, ideally we like to see Angelo get him maybe a Division I uh, college scholarship and then see what happens from there. And if that turns into the NBA, then we're all for it. But... I think realistically at this point, I like to see him flourish on the varsity team, number one. Then number two, if, if he flourishes at the varsity level, get himself a D1 scholarship. If he does the one at the, does good at the D1 level, then maybe get into uh, to the professional ranks, whether that be NBA, G League, overseas. It's, it's going to be a long road, but uh, he, he's got the work ethic to get there. I feel as though Angelo has the ability to succeed in anything. He's an overcomer. Um, I know that he's very, very focused and he's very, very diligent. And I know that, you know, he prays over it all the time, you know. He believes in God and he believes that God will lead to success. And I think that that's the baseline to anyone's success. This was a grind. Really, it started all the way probably second grade. So, get a long, a long, long time ago. I was just like a regular kid, 
upwards little church league basketball on the mini ramps. I started loving it. And then a little school ball league here and there. I started loving it. But I was never I was never really good. But so I just picked up because my cousin has uh, my cousins had trainers. They would train them. So I was like, Mom, could I get a trainer or something like that? And I met Shondell. Man, when I tell you, I was so sorry. He never really even wanted to train me for real. Like he almost told my mom, might as well take back her money because I was just like a waste of his time and a waste of her time. And then I kept grinding, I kept grinding for years. I played local AAU for the Lima Gators. And then sixth, seventh grade, I just kept hooping. Seventh, eighth grade, I got cut from the team. Seventh and eighth grade, I got to cut from the team. Came really from nothing. And yeah, a lot of two, three a days, grinding until you want to throw up, sleepless nights, crying yourself to sleep, praying, just like, is this really for me? But on the nights that you're really doubtful, you gotta double down. You just gotta double down, man. Cause it's it's a long road. If I told you it was easy, I was lying. If I told you I was one of those guys who grew up, I've been everybody knew I was gonna be some my whole life. Nah. Everybody clowned me. I got made fun of, I got bullied about it. I kept doing it for me. I kept working because I did it for me. I didn't do it for nobody else. If I was doing it for anybody else, I would have quit a long time ago. But now I'm in too deep. It's the gym, man. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got no super complex. We just go straight to the water, man. We ain't money. That's how the water is what we feel, man. All the best supers used to come up here. X, Tyler, all them T White. This is where, this is where best line hoopers are made at.